And joining me now, Sergeant Aquilino Ganell, former member of the U.S. Capitol Police who defended the Capitol on January 6th and co-author of the book, American Shield, the Immigrant Sergeant Who Defended Democracy. It's good to have you on the program. Look, you've been critical of Speaker Johnson for what you say are his attempts to rewrite history. So I wonder what you make of him traveling to Mar-a-Lago to meet with Donald Trump about election integrity. At the end of the day, he just carrying water for the former president. Um, and instead of being a uh, election integrity, what it seems to me is uh, a planning for the next uh, stop the steel rally uh, at the Capitol uh, on January 6th next year. Um, unfortunately, uh, he's one of the person that uh, continue to use the same rhetoric that led to January 6th. And, uh, you know, it, it made no sense uh, for him to hold this uh, press conference when he knows better that the l last person that needs to talk about election integrity is the former president, who had undermined uh, every capacity our institutions uh, for our democ uh, democratic system. I don't know if you saw this, Sergeant, but this week, the Washington Post fact checker, uh, their whole department there, did an analysis, and they found that since Donald Trump started running for president this time against Joe Biden, he has made 30,000 misleading or outright false statements. And the number of Republicans who believe fraudulent votes were cast in 2020 has actually gone up from 26 to 38 percent. Of course, that belief, the big lie, is what fueled January 6th. So how do you fight against that? I mean, I, that's one of the reasons why I joined uh, Courage for America, to, to speak the truth, to speak about what happened, uh, uh, about the, the things that uh, began before the election, what happened during and after. Uh, and we need to hold these uh, elected officials accountable. At the end of the day, uh, Mike Johnson, he's just like Kevin McCarthy that claims to support the police officers uh, all selectively. Um, he uh, has not, to this day, um, like uh, Kevin McCarthy, had not authorized uh, and held a committee, a plaque honoring uh, officers from the Capitol Police, uh, but yet they go in front of the cameras and say that they support the law and order, uh, the police and, and whatnot, but they don't. Uh, a, a, minim, uh, a meaningful gesture, the least they could do is authorize the plaque to be honored and be placed at the Capitol uh, entrance tunnel where I defended the Capitol on that day. Conversely, you were among the Capitol Police officers honored by the White House by President Biden on the two-year anniversary of the January 6th insurrection. You recently appeared at a press conference organized by the Biden campaign. There may be critics who say, look, um, you obviously are supporter of President Biden. What do you say to them about your motivation? And, and I'd like you to add to what you just said, which is your concern that this January 6th that happened in the last time could happen again. I mean, the reason why I, I had gone to those press conferences is not because I aligned myself with uh, President Biden. He's one of the few, uh, people who had given me a, 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 an opportunity to tell my story. How many Republican elected officials you had sat down with me, uh, with the exception of Liz Cheney and Adam Kinsinger, uh, those are the only two individuals, uh, elected officials, who I risk my life for on January 6th um, to defend them. And nobody else but them two had the courage to sit down with myself and all my colleagues to listen about the experiences that we so did uh, on January 6th to give them the chance to escape, to run for their lives. Because according to them, January 6th did not happen. If it did happen, it was not as bad as we say. Uh, but on January 6th, they were running for their life in fear from the mob that the former president himself sent to kill them, because that's exactly what they did, uh, what he did. And here they are, three years later, uh, supporting this him as a candidate. Uh, they seem to forget that they were running uh, for their lives on January 6th, 2021. And that's unfortunate uh, because I, you know, how they talk to me, how they reach out to me, I would be 
telling them the truth. And all I care is about the truth. Uh, that's why I continue to speak. That's why I continue to go to the, to the courts to attest and hold the people who assaulted me personally, which are more than 40 people uh, that assaulted me on January 6, um, in the line of duty that I was performing my job protecting them, including uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi, Mike Johnson, Ken McCarthy. I protected all of them the same. Uh, and here they are trying to use the police officer as, as on um, events as a political pawns, but we protected each member of Congress on January 6th, regardless of our political views, regardless, regardless of their political ideologies, we were protecting the Capitol, no matter who was inside behind us. Uh, and, and that's what I care about. That's why I take that opportunity to go to the Harris Biden campaign. If the Republican would have called me, I would have done the same thing and tell them, but they're not interested in the truth uh, whatsoever. Regardless of their political leanings and at risk to your own personal safety, Sergeant Aquilino Ganell, thank you for coming on the program. We appreciate it. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.